Hi everyone, today I'll be talking about the mobile editor and also giving a brief walkthrough. The mobile editor allows you to quickly and easily customize your website for use on a mobile device. This means that with the mobile editor, you can make your website more optimized for use on a phone. Mobile optimization is also an important factor for being seen on search engine results. So we're here on my Fresh Cafe and Juice Bar site and you can see it looks pretty good. But now we'll be customizing it so that it looks good on mobile screens as well. To switch to the mobile editor, go up to the top right of the page and click this icon that says Mobile Editor. You'll see the screen switch to the mobile editor. From here, we can begin making customizations without worrying about changing the content or display of our desktop site. Any changes you make to the mobile editor version will not be made on the desktop version. So we're here on the home page, and as you can see this mobile phone in the middle of the page, these are the mobile guidelines here. Meaning you need to put the content inside this to be visible on the mobile site. As you can see, much of the content is outside of these guidelines, so we'll have to do some customization. We can choose to move each element individually on the page within the guidelines, or we can use this helpful feature we call Smart Layout. With Smart Layout, the editor will automatically move your elements inside the guidelines and resize them so that they fit so that it will make it faster to make adjustments later. The Smart Layout button is located on the left side of the page, right here that says Smart Layout. So we can click on this. With Smart Layout, the editor will automatically move your elements inside the guidelines. Clicking on it, you'll notice an option to perform Smart Layout on the header and footer sections as well. Clicking this will adjust both the header and footer sections for the entire site. So we'll click on this. We only need to do the Smart Layout for page header and footer once. Then I can press OK. After doing Smart Layout, make sure to make any adjustments as you see fit, as Smart Layout just ensures that all elements are within the mobile guidelines. So I'll make some more adjustments now. Awesome. You can also customize the menu for the mobile site. The menu is located right here. And clicking on this icon with the three lines on the left side of the page, you'll see it brings up this menu over here, where we can toggle the mobile menu on and off. Here you can customize the mobile menu to see what it looks like or change the stylistic options. There's a few options such as icon color, background, and fonts. Next, we'll head to the About page. So go over here to the Pages section and choose About. On this page, we'll use Smart Layout again, but we don't have to check the option to Smart Layout the header and footer, as they've already been mobile optimized. And I can scroll down, and you'll see it looks good, and also the header and footer have remained the same. Again, make sure to make any changes you want, as Smart Layout just ensures that all content is within mobile guidelines. Now we can head to our contact page. So go to the pages section and choose contact. On this page, you'll notice that our header and footer sections are already mobile optimized, but the rest of the content isn't. And instead of using Smart Layout this time, we'll be adjusting the elements individually. So I'll do that now. That looks good. There's also options to resize the text on the mobile editor. So say we select a text box, over here we can scale the font up or down. By scaling the font up, you'll see that the font gets bigger. Or scaling it down by clicking on the minus icon, you'll see it gets smaller. That looks great. Finally, we need to activate our mobile pages so that they'll be published along with our desktop pages. To do that, click on the pages menu and click Enable Mobile View to enable the mobile view of all pages on your published site. So I'll click on and enable that. You can also individually select mobile pages from here. Finally, hit the Publish button at the top right to publish your website. And that was a walkthrough of the mobile editor. For more videos, stay tuned to website.com. Thanks for watching.